If all you did was judge the church of Corinth by their flesh, especially reading 1 Corinthians, right, you would think, man, that church has a lot of problems. And if all they had was their flesh, yeah, that would be true. Um, But there is Jesus Christ. <laughs> and check out how Apostle Paul uh, opens up the letter of 1 Corinthians. People forget about this. Um, it says, Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God. And Sosthenes, our brother, verse 2, on to the church of God, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus. Called to be saints with all that in every place call upon the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, both theirs and ours. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ and uh, you know <laughs> it, it keep going it's a great opening but I, I want to point out what I highlighted here okay that the church at Corinth sanctified in Christ Jesus and you, you can't tell that by their works okay um, but if you believe the gospel how Jesus Christ paid uh, for all your sins right and if you realize that he didn't just die for you, he died for everybody. And people at Corinth accepted Christ as their Savior too. Jesus Christ died for their sins according to the Scriptures, was buried and rose again on the third day according to the Scriptures. And so uh, once you're able to come to terms with that, that the gospel is a free gift, um, then yeah, you realized that you're you're not. Not only are you not saved by your own works, you're not sanctified by your own works, and you're saved by Jesus Christ, and you're sanctified in Christ Jesus. And even in the book of Hebrews, it talks about how Jesus Christ sanctified us. You know, you know, it was His own blood, and um, and you know the. The gospel is kind of like seeing the invisible, right? It's seeing things that others can't see, but it's it's not really with your eyes. <laughs> um, and you know, maybe that's a strange explanation, but you know, we 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 do walk by faith, and you know, we don't see with our our, our physical eyes. Uh, you know some of these mysteries of God, we, uh, but we're able to see it through faith. And then it becomes self-evident. And to us, what seems to be common sense is that, you know, we can't justify ourselves. We need the one who is able to justify the ungodly. That's Jesus Christ. He's a propitiation for our sins. He's the atonement, okay? He's the satisfaction. He's the payment. And he is our Savior. And, you know, if we just judge each other by our flesh, uh, like a lot of unbelievers like to do with the Church of Corinth, you know, they try to take verses out of 1 Corinthians, out of, you know, out of context to try to, teach that you can 
you know, lose your salvation or you can, you have to work your way to heaven or, or whatever. Um, you know, they're, they're not walking by faith. And they don't believe that they're sanctified in Jesus Christ. But the Bible clearly says, um, amongst many other things, that, uh, you know, you know, the, the, those who are called to be saints are sanctified in Christ Jesus. And we have grace and peace. Okay. Uh, anyways, God bless.